Rhubarb and custard is quintessentially British. It's an amazing combination of flavours. And this shortbread recipe I'm going to show you combines the two together. So first, the rhubarb. So just chop the rhubarb into centimetre pieces. Once you've chopped the rhubarb, just take a baking tray with a piece of parchment paper on and then just transfer the rhubarb onto there. Spread them out a little bit and then take a little bit of sugar and just sprinkle it on. And we're going to roast these in the oven at 180 degrees for about seven or eight minutes, just till they're soft, but not too soft that they go squishy. While they're cooking, we can make the shortbread. So I've got 125 grams of golden caster sugar here, and then I've got a block of butter, which is 250 grams. This is softened butter, so it'll mix together really well. So using the back of your spoon, just cream the butter and the sugar together. I always like to use golden caster sugar because it just gives you that extra bit of flavour. And because this butter is softened, look, we can mix that straight away. That's working really well. We need one egg, just the yolk though. This will give a lovely richness to the shortbread. And then a touch of vanilla, carefully mix that in. So I've got 350 grams of plain flour. Just add that in. And then to bring the combination of rhubarb and custard together, we need the custard. So we're just gonna add a tablespoon of custard powder. And what that does is it means the flour now has that lovely custardy flavor to it. So turn the bowl one way and the spoon the other and just keep stirring it until you get like a crumble mixture. And then just pour your mixture out before you get your hands in and mix this together. Just take about a third of the mixture and put it back. And then just use the warmth of your hands and scrunch the dough together. And that's our shortbread done. So we'll pop that into a tin in a minute. And then with the remaining mixture, I've got some oats here, really big jumbo oats. Just pour those into the mixture. This is gonna become our rhubarb crumble topping. So give that a quick stir. Turn the bowl one way and the spoon the other and it'll just incorporate it all. Now we've got real texture in there. We've got crunch and we've got flavour. Okay, the rhubarb is just cooked. Take a spoon and we'll just pop it into a bowl. Keep that tray for the shortbread. So just change the parchment paper over. Push that into the corners. Then I want some raspberry jam. So I've got some seedless raspberry jam, but to be honest, if you want strawberry, use strawberry. It's fine. And then take a few spoonfuls of that. And then just using your spoon, kind of chop it together and mix the roasted rhubarb and the jam together. So we've made this new flavor and it's all about the rhubarb. Okay, let's put that to one side. So back to our shortbread. So all we need to do is take this soft dough and just spread it. Use your knuckles and you want a thin layer all the way up to the edges. Press the shortbread down, use the back of a spoon just to level it out. It's important to get it all one layer so it all cooks perfectly. So take the rhubarb jam, spoon that on, and then we're just gonna spread that all the way over. Spread the jam really evenly, make sure it coats all the shortbread, and then take your crumble mix, and then just pour the whole thing right on top of the jam. Just really carefully, using the back of a spoon, move the crumble over the shortbreads. Once all the crumble has completely covered, all the jam is ready for the oven. 160 degrees, 30 to 40 minutes. Look at that. Oh, do you know what? It smells just like rhubarb and custard. It's gonna be really hot in the middle. The jam is gonna be boiling. But if you can, just take a knife while it's warm and just score it into portions. Once you've scored the shortbread, please leave it to rest for half an hour. Then you're good to go. Just take a big bite and you shut your eyes and just imagine you've got that big bowl of rhubarb crumble topped with custard. It is such a combination. You've got to make this at home.